Alright, I know it's been a little while since I produced a video. That's because I've been in the middle of my big move. Okay, so I do want to apologize for that because I am trying really desperately to get things done, but I've been tired of working my ass off. So anyway, there's been a lot of stuff going on. Sorry, so I'm squeezing some time in. Uh, people have been asking me two things. So I'm going to cover one of them in this video and then I'm going to make another video right after this one and they'll both be up in the next couple of weeks. But these are UNMS series videos. One of the biggest things that people have been asking about UNMS is the plugins. Okay, so I'll do the plugin video first. So people are saying, oh, you know, I just installed UNMS or, sorry, UISP or I've just opened a UISP cloud account and the MicroTik plugins aren't there. Well, that's not a problem. I'm gonna, by the way, I'm going to put the link to the plugins here in the description for the video below. But if you look here, look in this window here. So I'm at github.com forward slash ubiquity dash a app slash UCRM plugins slash tree slash master slash plugins. Right? Well, anyway. Um, so in here you will find them. So if you look right here, it's right in your fucking face. MKT QSync. MicroTik QSync. It's right there. Okay? There's also one in here, which is the router OS suspension. By the way, I'm going to show you the other cool trick after. But anyway. So because if you go in here. Okay, so let me show you where to add these now. So I've clicked on, like I've logged into my UISP, okay? And I've clicked on CRM. Now if you look over here, you'll see I already have the MicroTik Sync plugin. I'm using my UISP right here just as a uh, demo for you guys. So we're going to go to the gear here. Now I'll take it to system and then we're going to go down to plugins. This is where you add it. Now you see here, available plugins, upload plugin is right there. Okay, so you see MicroTik QSync plugin is already installed. MicroTik router OS suspension already installed. UCRM, UCRM client sign up was already included because it's a Ubiquity thing and Ubiquity will include that. But if you click on the upload plugin, it'll allow you to pick archive, a zip file. Now I'll show you this, okay? So you see what we've all got in here. We've already got most of these plugins in place. So I'm going to see if I can find one that I don't have on here yet. So let's see here. How about the Argentina AFIP invoices or is revenue, oh QuickBooks, is QuickBooks in here? Looks like it comes with all the plugins already. But anyway, I'm going to download a plugin. Okay, so here, Philo. Okay, so if I click on that, it'll take me into the folder for you. You see the zip file here? So I can download the SMS app here. So here I can just click on download. Now it's going to save it on my computer as a zip file. Okay, that's literally all you need. So I'm going to go back over here in my plugins window. I don't think, tw oh, it is in there. But anyway, I'm just going to do this for demonstration purposes. You get the ID. I click on that, click browse. Okay, uh, let's see here. Where is my SMS Twilo? By WinRAR. Oh, it'd be under downloads. That's right. Where's my SMS Twilo? There it is right there. So I just click on the zip file like so. Hit open and hit upload. Just like that. You don't have to extract the zip file, okay? You literally let UNMS pull the zip file and then it's done. And here it is. That's it. That's how easy it is to add your plugin. And if you want to know how to configure it, you simply go watch my Microtech video on how to configure the plugins, okay? Um, so that's that one. All right. So that's the one plugin right there. You know what? Maybe I'll just do both at once because like that was like... A grand four minutes of footage. Woo! So anyway, that's that. So that shows you how to add that. Now something else you're going to want to uh, have here, which any of you guys who have an edge router will have is, see how the total traffic in there is zero? That's because we don't have NetFlow set up. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. All right. Here's a two for one video. I can't cheat and release two videos. I'm doing two in one for you. Yay. I hope that satisfies your urges. Okay. So if we go in here under network, see NetFlow, I'm going to show you how to add NetFlow now. So if you look here, you see how there's nothing, there's no data sources. Well, easy peasy. First of all, I need to get the IP address for my UNMS server. So I'm just going to open a command prompt and I'm going to ping unms.newleaf. There we go. Because I'm hitting an internal server, that's cool. I just need to highlight. And by the way, this will work for your external as well. I'm just going to copy this. All right, I'm going to go edit, copy that. See, 172.31 to 200.12. And for you security nuts out there. Oh no, you're giving away IP information. Dude, this is a fucking lab network. Chill. You need to get some zen going on, okay? Where's my, where's my little, my chill bell? I have a chill bell around here somewhere, which I can't. And fine, but whatever. Give Burnbot some love. Okay. So, oh, there. There's some Zen. There's some Zen for you. Ha 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 ha. ha. I got my little Jade Buddha. I rub his dummy. Okay, now back to work. Okay, so you see how in here it says that uh, blah, 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 you buy a Ubiquity product. All right, so anyway, let's bring up uh, the router that this needs to talk to, okay? I'm gonna take this off screen for a second so I can enter my password in because that I'm not giving away. ba ba booey. All right, so we go into our MicroTik here. Now this is already something that comes part of your MicroTik. You go to IP and you go to traffic flow, okay? We're gonna enable that. I believe this basically sets um, how many entries you want in there. I believe that the stock says to do it at five 12 see here and we just want all interfaces ip fix yes 
status, cool. Now we need to add our target, okay? So this is where we put our IP address in, okay? Just like that. So we're just gonna leave the source address alone. We're gonna put destination in right there like so. You don't need to touch anything else uh, because as you see here, 2055, 2055, we hit apply. Okay, so this will immediately start pushing, okay? If you wanna see, I'm gonna hit apply and we should actually see it starting to push. It's already pushing stuff to this, okay? So now if we go in here, I'm not sure how long it'll take before it actually refreshes and shows. Might take a minute or so for it to come up, but it is pushing to this now. So by telling the micro tick, see this, the NetFlow feature is kind of a passive function of UNMS, U UISP. When you point your router at it, it's going to uh, start just sending data to UISP. So UISP will just see that and it'll hook it. It'll grab it, okay? So let's see here. Let's. Are we pushing a lot of stuff? We're pushing a lot of stuff, okay? All right, so this is pushing tons of data over there. Our target is set up. Version nine, version five and nine. Oh. Actually, I'm just going to read something here. We recommend to configure NetFlow on a gateway on a gateways above. <laughs> UISP supports NetFlow version 5 and 9. UISP only record NetFlow data for subnets defined in section addresses. Whenever UISP receives any data from router, the status of NetFlow changes to active. UISP expects data on port 2055. Okay, so that's already in place. Yeah, I, I forgot to add this. Got to make sure that's in there or it won't work at all. So there we go. Apply changes. All right, let's see here. I'm just going to shoot back over to CRM right now and see if we're seeing some data. Not yet, so it's not pulling it yet. Now, I have noticed that this can take a few minutes for it to actually start showing up. Whatever. They need to talk, right? So let's go back over to network here. All right, let's go in here. All right, let's see here. Yeah, fuck off. Vault key missing. Vault key is always missing. Every time I do an update, the vault key is missing. Network. That flow. There it is. There it ying is. There, you thought I fucked up. I know you did. I know you all thought I... So there you go. So it's in there. So now this is receiving NetFlow data. Okay, so that's the second thing that everybody wants. So if we go back over here, go back to CRM, and this is going to start populating. And the nice thing is, is that for the uh, clients, the clients can actually see their data on their accounts as well. So if the customer goes into the user portal and goes to their page, you'll be able to actually see uh, the user data in there like you see with an edge router. So there you go, folks. You don't need an edge router to properly utilize UISP. All right, there it is. Okay, so so there, there. That's a two for one. That's two in one video today. How to install a fucking plugin and how to get NetFlow working with a MicroTik to UNMS, UISP. Stop changing the fucking name of things. This is Air Control Pro. All right, I came back. Here, it's been long enough now that you can see the NetFlow working. Isn't that cool? So if you look here, you can see the total traffic in the past seven days. It'll show you the downloaders here. So anyway, you can actually see that I just made that harder for you. Let's try that again. So if you look over here in this section here, you can actually see who the top downloaders are. And once this has a couple of days to populate, you'll get a lot more information, a lot more metrics. Same thing with this up here, right? So this is tracking throughput on the network right now. And the really cool thing about this as well is that again, if a customer goes to their portal, they can see it. So there you go. That's what happens when NetFlow starts working. There's a lot of neat things that'll actually start happening on here. Pretty cool. And my opinion okay but anyway i digress that's tonight's video i've got some more videos coming for you guys don't forget to leave uh comments in the uh comment section underneath ring the bell subscribe um this is the stack of videos i have yet to make of suggestions you guys want okay we've got uh some more uisp stuff here how to restore backups from cli uh how to install plugins how to recover from lockout you know those things we've got so many fucking videos that uh in about eight days from today wait today's the 18th so six days on the 24th i move into my new place guys the 24th of april 2021 that's what i'm gonna get set up and within that time once i'm settled into the new place i'm gonna fucking go balls to the wall i don't i, I need the set of balls i don't have any balls but anyway i'm gonna go balls to the wall and i'm gonna get a whole bunch of videos got, uh, done up for you guys so don't forget in the comments below like subscribe leave suggestions as to what videos you want to see next there's a lot more stuff to come folks Okay, so there you go. And uh, don't forget, if you guys want to follow us on the Misfixit page on Facebook, uh, we do have random draws and whatnot for people. It doesn't matter if you're a Patreon or not. It's just a random draw for anybody who I can find that's connected to the channel somehow. And yeah, we'll catch you later. I hope that was helpful. And I will give you clarification if you have extra questions, okay? So, uh, ciao bella, abiento, um, whatever. Have a good night. Bye-bye.